Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 2. We just got the Mithril from uh, Semit Falls, beat the sergeant, and we're gonna head back to Altair to deliver it so we can get better equipment for the rebel army to, uh, you know, take on the Empire. I don't know how much Mithril is in our little bundle, but hopefully it's enough to outfit enough people. It's hard to say though. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be walking back to Poft from here, which is nice because I get to go see Fish Mountain. It's one of my favorite little landmarks in the overworld. In fact, it's the only landmark I re recognize ever. Um, but I don't know. We've gone through a lot of battles right now. I mean, I'm actually, you know what? Let's stop at Salaman first to talk to the people there because we just rescued them. And maybe Joseph has something new to say. All right, what about you? Take the myth of Altair and give it to the princess as soon as you can. Yeah, I knew that, but thank you. Alright, and I guess we're just gonna head straight to Joseph's house. Hey, you say the same thing. Let's talk to the other people. Take the mithril, yeah. Ah, thank you so much. We owe our freedom to you. Yeah, you do. Our husbands are back safe and sound, and we have you to thank for it. Well, you're welcome, nerds. And anyone else? Doesn't look like it. Let's head to Joseph's. Oh, we can actually talk to Nelly, maybe, because we didn't get to do that at the cave, because I spoke to Paul first. Thanks for saving me. No, that's it? Alright, well, you're welcome. Alright, looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me if there's anything I can do to help. All you gotta do is ask. Alright, what do you know about uh, the airship? Uh, oh, Sid and Poft. I knew about that already. Alright, well, thanks, I guess. Not much else I can talk to you about right now, so... Yeah. Alright, so let's head back to Poft like I said I was going to like a minute ago. <laughs> Not much else to say. Um, there, Oh, here it is. Fish Mountain. I hope the name is obvious why. But oh, hey, there's a queen bee. We haven't seen one of those in the overworld yet. It's like a bee, but it's the queen. And it's like purple and blue and yeah. So I've actually, in each of those little random encounters I've been going through, I've been, uh, yawning, apparently. I've been casting spells with Firin and Guy, because these enemies are kind of worthless, and it's a way to level up my magic, because I need to do that if I'm going to be, you know, useful later in the game. Because, yeah. So, everyone, and you get to see what fire looks like as a, like, a level one spell, or, like, the first tier of fire, because it's like a little... <laughs> I like teleport, like all the energy goes in and goes up, and then all their health goes away. Sucks that all health goes away when I use it on myself too, though. <laughs> oh, and I, I guess I forgot to mention that I changed a Minwu from, uh, like two episodes ago, I had him with a shield. I took that off because I found out that it actually kind of debuffs his magic power. Uh, like, shields drain a bit of your magic ability. So I took it off because spellcasting is kind of important for a white wizard, you know? <laughs> and Farian's fire level increased. Cool. And we got a potion, like we don't have enough of those. And there is Poft. Alright, um... Apparently I'm tired. <laughs> and you say the same thing. Nah, the ship still hasn't gone from Paloom. What about... Let's just talk to the underling, head to Altair from here. Take the quick way, you know? Alright, Altair, 700. Wow, that's kind of expensive. I wonder how they gauge the prices. Uh, maybe just uh, danger of going there, because Altair is like middle of rebel country. I don't know. Like the cheapest places to go to are the ones where you're likely to die, because you're probably not going to be a repeat customer. <laughs> Alright, so, we have Mithril. Let's go... Do you have anything new to say, Gordon? No? You're lame. You have nothing to say about airships either? What's wrong with you, man? Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Hilda. Or all the people inside. If you can find some mithril, we'll bring it to Tobol. What? Huh. Bring it to the ma Maybe I should just go to the blacksmith first, deliver the metal, and then talk to Hilda. Because, yeah. Alright, what would you want with me? I'm an old man. Well, I have mithril, sir. Ho oh, ho, that's mithril. I've been waiting for a chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. Alright, you leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it, I'll start pounding it out. That's gross. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. Is that your euphemism for it? That's kind of gross, man. Not gonna lie. Oh, it sounds all metal, too. <laughs> Alright. 
You can buy the equipment I made over at the shop counter. This will keep my hands full for a while. I don't know, I hit the button too soon. Oops. Alright, so the original merchant still sells the same stuff. But now there's a second guy who sells mithril stuff. Jeez, I keep yawning. And this means we're going to have to start grinding pretty soon. Because that's how I do my thing. And the armor shop also has a secondary guy now with mithril armor. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk to Hilda. Figure out the next step of our little journey. Or maybe... What do you have to say? Dreadnought's a horror. Yeah, we know. Don't mean to sound like dismissive, but yeah. The Dark Knight overseeing the Dreadnought's construction was most capable. What? For now, fortunately for us, he's tending to other matters now. The theft of the Mithril has likely knocked the balance off the Empire. Ah, the Empire of Balance. I would like you to journey to Bast. If we were to stop the Dreadnought from being completed, this may be our only chance. Let's learn about the Dreadnoughts. And then ask about the Dreadnoughts. We have a man in Bast. He's found a way to reach the Dreadnought. I want you to destroy it. At the very least, find a way to delay its completion. I have full confidence that with you and Minwoo on the task, it will be accomplished. Neat! Alright, so... We're gonna do a bit of grinding, basically. It might take a while, but you're not gonna see it because of how I format these episodes. So... Yeah, I don't know what the point is of me saying this, but... We're gonna do some grinding! Um, I guess... We did the grinding. <laughs> Off screen. You can see we have mithril stuff now. And I'm gonna show you our stats. Because stats are good. I'm not gonna like read them out for you because that's too much work for me. But you can see everyone's got a little bit better spell casting and stuff. And I guess if we had gone to Bafsk, which uh, you can now see it's the yellow dot there. I don't know why it's a yellow dot. But uh, it's, it's our current objective. We're probably just gonna go straight take the boat from Palum, because we haven't taken the boat yet, I think. Uh, but I think, as I'm trying to say, if we had gone to Bafsk beforehand, uh, maybe the Dark Knight would have been there, I don't know, because she mentioned like the Dark Knight was most capable, which sounds like we should have met him, but I guess I missed out on that encounter. But yeah, we're gonna take the boat. And somehow get into a fight right in front of the dock. I like the little sailing noise. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, let's just walk it, because we haven't seen this place yet. So, Bafsk is basically just around this mountainside, which you can see on the map, just right around the corner. It's actually the purple dot right below the yellow dot, I should have specified. The yellow dot is the dreadnought, which is that thing. You can kind of see it. It's like a massive airship. Um, and there's Bafsk. It is very yellow. I don't know why. Um the town is. You need a pass to board the Dreadnoughts. Okay. You're with the Rebels, right? You've got to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't say that so loud. There are Imperials everywhere, dude. Gosh. And there's an item shop. But I think at this point, all the item shops have the same exact stock, so... Eh. Not much to say about that. Am I right? Yeah, pretty much. I'm not even going to bother with elixirs anymore, because that's just way too much gill to be grinding up for. Move, sir. Thank you. And there's a guy right in the middle with a, like a pirate hat looking thing. Oh, and there's a magic shop. There's probably something new here because that tends to be new. And yeah, there is. Cool. Fear, Basun, Esuna, and Silence. Uh, I'm probably just going to go with Esuna and Silence because uh, fear just makes enemies scared, giving them a higher chance to flee. Basuna only heals um, ailments that wear off after battle, and that's kind of useless to me because I can just heal them and wait it out. So yeah, and then we're going to go ahead and teach... Silence and Asuna. And then let's go ahead and just move stuff around because I'm kind of picky. Uh, Alright. So now, let's... Ooh, there's another guy right there. Let's talk to the guy in the hat. Maybe this guy first. They're making us work like slaves. I hate that Borg and being used by a man like that really makes my blood boil. Well, it's weird though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. Your memory is being erased? Good god, this is Type-0 all over again. I've been playing that recently, sorry guys. It's it's really cool. I haven't gotten very far in it, but it's neat. Alright, the, uh, the weapon shop didn't have anything. I think there's an armor shop up here that also probably doesn't have anything, because Mithril hasn't really spread out yet. Yeah. They have a silver Koira, so that's kind of neat. We probably could have gone here for some quicker, stronger armor. I'm going to save before talking to this guy in case it starts a battle. 
I don't want to deal with that. What's this? Back to work. Work, I say. If we finish even a day sooner, my glory will be that much greater. What? Who's working here? Get back to work, I swear. No one wants to work under General Borgen. Even the soldiers don't like it. That's neat to know. Let's talk to this guy in the corner. General Borgen took command of things in Bafsk a short while ago. Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knights. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become a general in the Imperial Army. Oops, uh, you didn't hear that. Hey, what do you know about the Dreadnought, weird guy that hates B Borgen? So you're the ones they've sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a back way leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. The sewers? If they see us talking, they may start to get suspicious, so I'm out of here. Good luck. And yeah, there's nothing back here but the sewer. Now we gotta swim in sewer water. Hey, we found a longsword, though. That's totally useful. And we have some vampire thorns and hornets. Uh, we only saw vampire thorns in the overworld so far, so this is kind of weird. Like, there's sewer-dwelling plants and bees. But they all went down with one fire attack, so that's not too bad. And hey, we found another antidote. Because, oh, we're wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, hey, zombies. You know, this reminds me, I can cast life spells on them. Or healing. Actually, I think life has a very low chance to hit, but if it does, it's a one hit kill because life brings people back from the precipice of death, so it, it re kills undead. Of course, there's a chance it'll miss because it's level 1 and kind of hard to hit as is, anyways. I do like that the mithril weapons seem to have like a new attack sound. Even though I keep talking over it. <laughs> and we killed the zombies. Uh, anyways, the other pathways I'm not going on have nothing in them. Here's some goblin guards and soldiers. I guess soldiers having to wash the sewer must be like the worst job. I feel bad for them, but I would feel worse if I had let them kill me. So they get to die. <laughs> and the pathways... I'm actually using a map to navigate. Spoilers, I guess. Like, for all the dungeons, I'm going to be doing that because some of them have some really awkward twists, and I want to make sure I'm going the right ways. I don't like wasting people's time, but I want to show off, you know, the stuff that's relevant. I found a longbow. We don't need those. We have mithril bows. Okay, and then there's this cave. The first floor, which is actually the last floor because this dungeon's very small. Uh, but hey, leg eaters. That's a new one kind of weird that, like, the palettes, there's no consistent. I guess there's, like, the yellow thorns are the same. But, like, one of them has a green head, one has a red head, and one has green vines, and one has purple vines. It's weird. I mean, it works. You know, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. It's sad. And we got some agility increase. And eye drops. We don't ever use those, because no one inflicts blind on us. This is weird. This is a really weird twisting sewer path. But what's up this way? A guy. Oh boy. You're too late. The dreadnought is complete. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Is that the emperor? No, that's the Dark Knight. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. Something about his face sprite seems familiar. I'm just saying. <laughs> Looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourselves. Oh, what's up with your face? Oh, that laugh. <laughs> okay, so what's up this way? Oh, boy. Looks like a dreadnought taken off. Oh boy, that is a very large thing. <laughs> oh boy, we are too late. That's not good. Hope it doesn't. Oh, I wonder where it's gonna be. Oh, that's kind of okay. It neat. It looks neat, but it also is kind of terrifying. And oh, do we have control of our character? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's go back. And we're gonna go to the right because there's a door here where Borgen came from. And in here. You find a pass from the chest. 
I'm guessing it's Dreadnought Pass. Which means we can board it now. Even though it's in the middle of the air. And there's a little teleporter that takes us outside, which is kind of weird, but whatever. We're going to go back into town. And that's going to be it for today. We're going to go to the inn, I think. Hang out. And when we come back next time on Final Fantasy II, we're going to go ahead and deliver the news of the Dreadnought's completion to Altair. So yeah, that's going to be fun. So I'll see you then, guys. Take care.